The gruesome images put ISIS brutality on frightening display. 45 Iraqi men executed by the terror group in cold blood after being kidnapped weeks ago. The men were members of the prominent Sunni Abu Nimr tribe, whose members had taken up arms against ISIS, which is also Sunni, after being forced from their homes just northwest of Baghdad. Just on Monday, the U.S. airdropped humanitarian aid, including food, to the tribe. But two days later, the men were dead. A rescue by Iraqi security forces never came. Today, Defense Secretary Chuck Hagel reiterated that the fight against ISIS will require a long-term effort. It's going to require coalitions of common interests, which we are forming. We have more than 60 countries now uh, with us to deal with this. Uh, this is an ideology. This is a dynamic that, in, in total, we've never quite seen. Now, Kurdish rebels fighting ISIS in Kobane, Syria, are receiving valuable new reinforcements. Kurdish Peshmerga fighters from northern Iraq. After delays, Turkey allowed the Peshmerga to cross its territory into Syria, bringing both desperately needed artillery and fighting experience. The Peshmerga are known for being excellent fighters. They are also now fortified with heavy weaponry. That's really what they're bringing to this game, in addition to the symbolism, is um, anti-tank, anti-armor artillery.